Two studies have shown that the use of valproate during pregnancy is associated with significant adverse effects on fetal brain development that persist into childhood. Today we are presenting a study on pregnant women and the concern uh, about pregnant women with epilepsy is the treatment with anti-epileptic drugs. And in recent years it's been clear that valproic acid in particular is associated with congenital malformation. And then in more recent um, publications it's been shown that possibly also uh, cognition is affected in, in offspring of women that were treated with valproic acid during pregnancy. So we wanted to explore if, if more profound development of, of the brain was affected also. So we looked at autism uh, spectrum disorder in the offspring of women that were treated with valproic acid during pregnancy. And so we followed all pregnancies in Denmark uh, from 1996 to 2006. And so we followed more than 600,000 uh, children. and. Um, um, and looked at the risk of, of autism in, in, among those children. And so we had more than 500 uh, children exposed to valproic acid and, and we compared the risk of autism spectrum disorders among those children with the rest of the uh, children in the cohort. And we found that more than doubling of the risk of autism uh, among those um, children. We also looked at the subgroup that were treated with polytherapy, meaning more than one um, anti-epileptic drugs, and basically found the same association in, in that group. In the NEED study, we've been investigating the effects of any epileptic drug exposure in children or women of epilepsy to determine whether there's differences in drugs. And we previously reported in the New England Journal of Medicine that valproate was associated with lower IQ. That was at three years of age. Here we're reporting our primary outcome, which was at six years of age. And indeed, at six years of age, we found that this finding holds up. The IQ difference is eight to 11 IQ points lower for the children that were exposed to valproate. This effect is dose dependent and has, uh, we've not seen a difference from age two through six in terms of differences across the drugs. The implication for that for physicians is that, my personal opinion, Valproate is not a good first choice for women of childbearing potential. It's not just a matter of what we treat women with when they're pregnant. Half the pregnancies are not planned, so this needs to be thought of well before pregnancy because at that point it may be difficult to change medicines or too late to change medicines. Valproate is, indeed, is also associated with increased risk for major malformations. So major malformations, cognitive decline, it just seems like a poor choice to me. The dilemma is that there's a subset of women with primary generalized epilepsy who will respond only to valproate. We can't predict those, so I, use, I recommend starting with other drugs and my, work my way back to valproate if I have to. If valproate has to be employed, the woman may still be able to have children, but she needs to be, know about the increased risk. And for the physician, I would think that because of the dose-dependent effects that we see, using a lower dose, trying to spread out the dosage, may help reduce the, the risks for this uh, deficit. This is Miriam Tucker reporting from Baltimore.